Hi guys, thanks for joining me. My name's Lynette and today I'm going to be giving you my finale of my beginner's luck panning project. I took part in this project with the panning queen, Nikki Pearson, the wacky world of Lottie and the lovely Laura Bollum. Now, Nikki was really gentle on us. She gave us seven products over seven months that we update on the seventh of every month. Now, mine's is late. And um, I really apologise for that. I really do try and get them done on the 7th or beforehand. Um, but it's been kind of manic. We've been not well, back from holiday and everything's kind of just gone out the window a wee bit. So today it's kind of a day late, hopefully. By the time I get this posted, it's only a day. I have got three products left. And that was my perfume, my eyeshadow and my lipstick. Now... I'm going to show you them and then I'm going to talk a wee bit about the panning project and my thoughts on project panning. So, <laughs> I'm feeling so smug. It's finished. It is finished. It is going in the recycling. Now, my husband has bought me Eternity perfume for Christmas for a long, long time. It used to be one of my favourite perfumes, but... I just, I don't know. I mean, when I spray it, it does remind me of Christmas morning, which isn't a bad thing, but I think too much of a good thing. Um, so I just got to the point, I'm going to cover that so it doesn't blind you. I just got to the point where I just didn't really want to wear it again, but it was hanging around on my shelf in my bathroom. And that's why I added it in after Christmas. I thought, you know, this has been kicking around. It's probably two years. So I probably got it from the Christmas before because this year I got them to buy me um, a long comb one um, so I thought I really need to use this so you can see it was over halfway and started panning it so that was, this was a real commitment to get this finished now do you see if I loved it I would be finished within months but um, yep I got there last day actually I think I sprayed some on this morning I have also panned these three palettes um, not three palettes, three pans um, of this eyeshadow trio and it's Rose Vintage. I absolutely love this, so there's nothing wrong with it. It's just been kicking around in my makeup bag for ages. Just wanted to see the back of it. So it's gone, done, dusted. I have put three, yeah, three eyeshadow products in, two different panning product, pro projects. Never do that again. Ever, 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 ever. And this is my lipstick. So there were two lipsticks that were kind of halfway done. So, I mean, I could get a lip brush in and get a lot more out, but essentially that's it done. And I've got lipstick coming out my ears, so that is going to be Ben. So that is me finished um, <laughs> just the items. Um, a real kind of labour of love to finish some of them. I will say, panning got me into really good habits, so I use hand cream religiously now and actually it's one of my favorite things hand cream and body lotion i use every day um, i use hand cream a few times a day and i got a bit better with the old foot cream um and that was all through panning and it's been determined to finish up the products that i had there i would say um i am so glad that i spoke to nikki beforehand and she did say that some items like blush are just i mean unless you're kind of hardcore just don't do it I mean I've had the same blusher for the past four months and it's not gone down <laughs> so I'm just glad I never put that in the panning project um so yeah she was so things like you know she was very good because I got a bit despondent I was like oh I'm, this lipstick's not going down and this isn't budging and she said to me well put it in your bag and you know maybe after lunch you know just get into the habit of using it a bit more um I I think if I was going to pan more, I would prefer to pan more skincare, hair care, um, body lotion type of thing than makeup. I find I got really bored with the makeup, um, or I would only put one eyeshadow in a pan. Um, I wouldn't put any more. Um, same with liquid. I have two, two half full lipsticks. Um, a lip gloss and a lip crayon over two different panning products and I thought that would give me a variety but it just meant I'm using the same ones constantly so it got really really boring 
Um, I've really, really enjoyed getting to know the girls that I've been um, panning with because we've got a wee WhatsApp group and we chat on there. They're such a nice bunch of girls. And once they do their updates, I'd really love it if you could pop over if you haven't already and um, subscribe to their channel. Um, I don't think this will be the last panning project I ever do. I probably am not like Lottie or Nikki. Um, I probably will only ever have one panning project on the go at a time from now on um, unless it was something different so say I decided to pan my nail polish or a palette um, but doing the 7 and the 19 um, half the time I was running around the house trying to find everything <laughs> and putting on their box um, so yeah no, I've really really enjoyed that best part of it for me was using up you know products to get them out the house but also meeting um, and making some new friends and Nikki, Lottie and um, Laura and um, I don't think our group will stop chatting I think we'll continue to chat and we might even do another project coming up soon but I'll probably leave that one in the capable hands of Nikki who was very gentle with us for this first panning project so um, thanks for watching guys thanks for tuning in and at the end of July I will have my 19 products in 2019 update if you want to see some more panning I might do a wee um, nail polish panning for the rest of the year see how much I can get through and um, I'll catch up with you soon, guys. Speak to you later. Bye.